This module will provide information about the use of pessaries for incontinence or prolapse of the pelvic organs and address common questions that women have. Pessaries are not a new invention. Actually, they've been used by women for prolapse issues for centuries. Back then, they used what they could find to insert into the vagina to hold things up. When modern surgeries became available, women opted for that and pessary use declined. Today, however, many women find they prefer to avoid surgery as using a pessary is generally an easy and effective way to deal with issues of pelvic organ prolapse and urine leakage. How do they work? Let's look at pessaries used for prolapse first. Quite simply, after you insert the pessary into the vagina, it provides support and holds up what was sagging down into the vagina or even outside through the vaginal opening. Let's quickly review what happens with prolapse. Now here we see where pessaries sit in the vagina to hold up prolapse of either the bladder, rectum, uterus, or top of the vagina. Here are two commonly used styles of pessaries and where they sit. A simple ring pessary and a cube pessary. As you can see, there are many other styles of pessaries as well. Some styles come in up to 11 sizes so fitting must be done by someone who knows how. Some are used more commonly than others. Pessaries are used for prolapse, but also for stress incontinence. If you recall, stress incontinence occurs with pressure or stress on the bladder with activities such as coughing, sneezing, sports, running, and so on. Stress incontinence can be a small spurt of urine for some, or a huge gush for others. It may start when a woman is relatively young and worsen with age. Note the star in the diagrams. It is placed where the neck of the bladder opens with your cough or sneeze, and this is exactly where the knob of the pessary sits, to support the bladder neck, prevent it from opening, and causing the leakage. Some women find that the pessary keeps them completely dry. Others note some degree of improvement in leakage. Here are some typical pessaries used for stress incontinence. Note that most of them have that knob on one edge that supports the bladder base. Only the cube pessary looks different and may be used in some cases. How are they fitted? Nurses in the pelvic floor clinic have taken extra training and they are experts in fitting pessaries. This is not an exact science, but rather a skill that develops with practice. The nurses examine the vagina, insert their fingers, and can determine a few styles and sizes that may work. With the trial pessary in place, they will have you cough, bear down, walk in the clinic, and empty your bladder during the fitting process. If the pessary is the right fit, it is comfortable, and you cannot feel it once it's in place. You will always feel the removal and insertion of a pessary but it is usually not painful with most styles. The nurses generally have you come back for a follow-up visit within two weeks to ensure that the pessary is working well, that you are satisfied with it, and to assist you with any concerns. Sometimes we need to modify the size or style at this follow-up visit, as we only know how well it will work after you have worn it in real life for a spell. We will help you learn how to take care of it and what to watch for. Pessaries are made of silicone, a relatively inert and well-tolerated soft material. Pessaries generally last for many years once properly fit, unless a woman's needs change. In our clinic, you must purchase your pessary for the costs that we buy them for. We accept credit or debit cards, but not cash. Pessaries are not meant to be left in permanently. They need to be removed from time to time to be cleaned and to allow the vaginal tissues to have a break. There is no one rule about frequency of removal. It depends on a variety of factors. Some pessaries are simple to remove, others are difficult. One factor is whether or not you can remove it yourself. 
And it depends how well you tolerate the pessary, how healthy your vaginal tissues stay. It is ideal to remove it at least weekly if you can. Some women remove it nightly or only wear it on some days. Some women can leave it in longer, especially if they need a nurse or a doctor to take it out. For some, it can be every three months or even longer. Removing the pessary can take mere seconds for some women. Others find it harder, but with time develop a knack for it. And as said, some are a challenge to remove and only a doctor or nurse can do it. However, women often feel it is worth the time involved for the comfort it brings. I would like to show you a short animation of how the pessary is removed and inserted. After folding the pessary, apply a lubricant so it slips in easily. It generally finds its own place once inserted. Removal requires a finger to pull it out with. Your nurse can assist you in finding the best position and method to do this. Removing your pessary and reinserting it may be a little daunting initially, but nearly all women can learn how. You may find it very simple and quick over time as you develop your own technique. Any position works where you can reach inside your vagina and hook your finger over the pessary, standing or lying down, over the toilet or in the shower. Some women will attach a piece of waxed dental floss to the pessary and pull it out with that looped around their fingers. Some women, especially with long nails, prefer to wear gloves. Are there any complications to watch for? If the pessary is not taken care of, yes there are but most complications can be prevented with proper care. The vagina does tend to age along with the rest of our bodies. As we approach and go through menopause, the lining becomes thinner and more fragile. It can be dry for some women. The pessary can irritate a fragile vaginal lining. That is why it is important to have it removed from time to time. Most women who wear pessaries use some kind of vaginal moisturizer or vaginal medication on a regular and long-term basis. Some are over-the-counter and some require a prescription. But they help ensure the tissues stay healthier and don't become irritated from the presence of the pessary. Most women do not have any problem with their pessaries, but some minor complications may include some extra discharge, which may also cause an odor. This usually happens if the vagina is becoming a little irritated, a warning sign in a way. Having occasional breaks from the pessary or the regular use of a vaginal moisturizer or medication usually prevents this from happening or fixes the problem. Some women find that they can feel the pessary when they are about to have a bowel movement as the rectum enlarges as it fills and pushes towards the vaginal area where the pessary sits. This usually goes away after the bowel movement. A small group of women remove their pessaries before a bowel movement, but most have no problems. It is important to avoid constipation and straining, as the pessary may be pushed out of position or even come out with excessive straining. No, pessaries do not always work, but about 9 out of 10 women can be satisfactorily fitted and are happy with their pessaries. Some women may try different styles and sizes until they find the right one. Others may not be able to be fitted. It is up to you to let us know if you are happy with your pessary or if you decide to go on to consider surgery. One advantage of a pessary is that they are not permanent. However, they can be used for a lifetime. Pessaries can last for many years, but may become more pliable slightly stained, or develop a slight odor with years of usage. Storing the pessary in dry baking soda when you're not wearing it can help with this. Many women will purchase a new pessary within three to five years so they will know it is fresh and clean. If you are still sexually active, you may choose to remove your pessary before intercourse, or some styles can be left in with no problems. You may want to see for yourself if the pessary causes any discomfort or not. Some pessaries take up too much space to allow for penetration. The nurse who is fitting you will discuss this with you. As mentioned, there may be a mild odor from the extra discharge, but most of the time this is not a problem, especially with a good routine of cleaning 
and the use of recommended vaginal moisturizers or medications. As mentioned, one advantage of a pessary is that they do not cause a permanent change. Some women will try a pessary and are very happy with them. Others may wear a pessary for months or years and eventually go on to have a surgical intervention. Others decide to discontinue wearing their pessary and forego surgery and do okay. If your pelvic muscles become stronger or you lose excess weight, for example, your symptoms may be gone or manageable. It is not a problem if you decide not to use your pessary because there is never any permanent change from using them. Whatever you decide, we will help you find a solution that works for you. We charge our patients the same costs that we must pay to buy the pessaries. We do not profit from them. Currently the cost ranges from $30 to $40, so they're quite affordable. We cannot refund or exchange your pessary. Some women may end up buying more than one if the first one is not working as well as they had hoped. Sometimes the vagina loosens slightly after a pessary has been in for a few weeks and you may need to purchase a slightly larger size. We encourage our patients to become comfortable with their pessaries and learn how to take care of them without being tied to a health care provider. As long as you take them out regularly, know what to watch for, and know that you can always contact our clinic with concerns, and you can follow up with your family doctor on a yearly basis, we will discharge you from ongoing follow-up visits to our clinic. One rule, never forget about your pessary. Make sure a family member knows you have one. A forgotten pessary can cause significant problems. If you have any other questions or concerns not addressed, call the Pelvic Floor Clinic and ask to speak to the charge nurse. We will be happy to assist you. Good luck.